extra virgin, like me in high school. <laughs> Welcome back to What's in the Box and other overused memes. Today's tipsy culinary adventure, Ugh. we're gonna find out what the hell is inside this box and uh, if you should or should not throw money at this company. Now, if you're not already familiar, Blue Apron is one of the most popular subscription meal kits out there. And if you don't know what a subscription meal kit is, it's basically they send you a box full of perfectly proportioned groceries Say that 10 times fast. So you don't have to go shopping, you just bring it home, you chop it up, you cook it, and it's done. Let's open this up, shall we? So first and foremost, in the box you get two recipe cards. We have here the smoked trout rice bowl and the Korean rice cakes. Now today the meal that we're gonna be making is the smoked trout rice bowl. As you can see on this handy dandy meal and recipe card or ingredient and recipe card, it shows you all of the ingredients that you have down here below and then it gives you a list of every single instruction that you need from beginning to end. So we're gonna see how easy it is for these instructions are to follow. Now, your mileage may vary. I have a little bit more cooking experience than the average John Smith, but you know, I, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just see. All right, let's do a little roll call here. So we got our trout fillets. We got our knickknacks, which include what? We got some mayonnaise and some soy glaze, sambo oilek, or all that, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Somebody's probably gonna tell me in the comments. Yuzu juice, probably. Yes, yes, yuzu juice. Whatever this is. You know, I could just open this damn thing, but you know what, I'm too lazy. Mirin, sweet soy, sweet soy wine. It won't focus, thank you. And uh, sesame oil, which is that right there. Great, we have our baby bok choy. I mean, I know it's been a couple days, but when I first opened this up, the leaves were kind of like yellowish and um, soft rather than, you know, green and fresh. We do have our scallions and our radishes. We do not have our sushi rice. Uh, I looked all over, I looked in the other container. Uh, if you saw from the montage before, all of the ingredients are included together and they're not like, you know, packaged together uh, by dish. So everything was kind of just thrown in the box. We don't seem to have sushi rice for our rice bowl. Cook the rice. Thoroughly rinse the rice under cold water. Well, I would if I had rice. The rice that I'm about to use is nowhere near sushi rice. So you know what, Blue Apron? If this tastes bad, this is your fault. Yeah, baby. Mm, who's a big bag of rice? Okay, this is weird. A big pinch of salt. So there are a couple things that uh, they do not give you that they assume that you have. And it's very like basic stuff like salt, pepper, probably like uh, cooking oils, olive oil, stuff like that. Uh, obviously the pots and whatnot, but all the major ingredients they do provide for you. Large, I never really measured things by pinches. Close enough. Close enough. All right, cut off and discard the root end of the bok choy. I'm assuming they mean this. What I've always done is I've always peeled it like this. Holy balls, that's a lot easier. They gave me a whole measly three radishes, great. Talk about all this plastic waste too, damn. And then it says to add in the mirin and half the sesame oil, cover to keep warm. All right, if you insist, I've never done this to sushi rice, but you know what, there's a first time for everything. <clears throat> ah, it was hot! Ah. <laughs> Ooh, smells good. Drizzle of olive oil. A drizzle? They also didn't say what kind of olive oil. Extra virgin, like me in high school. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. A dri people can interpret a drizzle a lot of different ways. There, that seems like a drizzle. Okay, add the yuzu juice. <laughs> Shit. Aki mushroom. So it said add the yuzu juice and a drizzle of olive oil to the bowl of sliced bok choy and radishes. I added it to the seasoning. Oops. Okay, so we can work this out. This is the last thing I need right now, but. Transfer to the bowl of dressing. Oh, the fish are being transferred to the bowl of. Well, the fish are gonna be real lemony today. I have lemon juice. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the American version of yuzu. Drizzle of olive oil. Good thing I have more olive oil than I have yuzu. All right. Okay, we're back. <laughs> While the bok choy and radishes marinate in a medium, oh, <coughs> that's strong. In a medium pan, heat the remaining sesame oil in medium high until hot. I have a question about that. 
Because you don't use sesame oil to, to as a cooking oil, you use it as a flavoring agent. So whatever, you know, your recipe. So we got our pan that's heating up right now and I need to definitely, it's definitely smoking, ow. It's definitely smoking, so I need to hurry. All right, so we have our uh, uh, greens chopped up and our things marinating like the instructions said and we have our Thousand Island looking Asian sauce that was all the other knickknacks and stuff combined. We have some green onion, uh, some sesame oil, salt, pepper, oil. Anyway, I'm gonna get to this, so I'm gonna hand this to Josh, here you go. Why sesame oil? Sesame oil smoke point is so low. Look at that, it's smoking already. Medium high until hot, add the sliced carrot. Oh. <laughs> Do you see what this says? Uh -huh. To the bowl of sliced bok choy and radishes. Do you know what I did? I combined the carrots and the radishes. <laughs> for the first time, I am at a loss for words. It's fine. Nobody ever died from eating too much lemon juice. The color is starting to seep into the bok choy. We're just gonna let that sit there. We're gonna cook these. This has rice on it, why? Because you used it for rice. Shut up! I hate it when you're right. Yeah, this says while the carrots cook, place the fish on a plate. This is ready to eat fish. Like, literally just open it up. Yeah, and eat it. I mean, that's what ready to eat means. We're gonna die. We're not gonna die. Actually, it looks pretty good. Ugh. There's that, there's the fish. It looks so delectable. Using a fork, flake into large pieces. There's that ready to eat fish again. Reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> so I think I followed everything. Over here we have the cooked carrots. Just like they said, we have our, uh, <laughs> marinated uh, radish and uh, bok choy. And then we have the uh, ready to eat fish in our dressing that we made, which definitely does not look like Thousand Island. Serve the rice top with the marinated bok choy and radishes, cooked carrots and dressed fish. Dressed fish. Garnish with the sliced green tops of the scallions. Enjoy. All right. So thoughts overall, yes, I am a little drunk. Yes, I messed up the recipe. However, the ways that I messed up the recipe were I added a little too much lemon juice here and a little too much lemon juice there. The dish overall does not have an overwhelming lemony taste to it. I gotta take off points for the bok choy not being fresh. The fact that they taste a little soft and wilty here, that's not me being drunk. That's just Blue Apron not shipping proper materials. Now, speaking of, of, of things that they didn't include in the shipment, they didn't give me my sushi rice. I was able to substitute, but maybe a lot of people who don't have sushi rice, what are they supposed to eat this with? So my review of this recipe, not the strongest first impression of Blue Apron. If you've had an experience that has been better than the one that you've just seen now, let me know in the comments below. I've been ranting for about five minutes, so you know what? Uh, see you next week, bye. Lunch. I don't know what I, I literally didn't script it at all. So I, I'm just gonna talk out of my ass. So in. So <laughs>